Welcome to my workshop. You are watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a handheld mirror. I've got this beautiful piece of red uh, American elm, absolutely perfect for this project. Now, the whole idea for this actually came from one of my viewers. Thank you very much for that. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on how to create templates so it would speed up the process of making serving boards in that particular case. And that design was the main inspiration for the design of today's project. So check uh, both of them out. I'm going to put them on screen so you can see um, how the design transparent from one to the other. And when I finished designing the uh, shape and how the mirror would look like, I did show it to my daughter and I, I said to her, I was thinking of making something like this, a mirror for her like that. Well, and the pressure from that on on me to actually make it was constant and daily. So today I'm actually going to make this. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of making templates for this project as that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. If you want to see how to create templates from a design on paper, then I will refer you to the initial video I did. Link for that is down below in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. Now, I do want to have a template for this mirror as I think that will be a great additional to my uh, local store when I do sell things that I make. And having a nice and solid template for that task, I think it's a bonus because then it will allow me to badge them out a lot quicker. Hence, I'm gonna be using my Xtool P2 CO2 laser to actually make a template in this eight millimeter acrylic sheet. I think it's a perfect material for templates as it's strong, versatile, and more or less, it's easier to attach to a piece of wood with some double-sided tape and the longevity of a template like this is far greater than if you made it from plywood or MDF. Hence, I'm just gonna whack this into my P2 and in a few minutes, I'm gonna have a perfect template. All right then, the machine has finished. It took uh, just over eight minutes. If you're interested in the settings, it was 100% power and two millimeters per second. So let's have a look at the results. <laughs> Check that out. Absolutely perfect template. And as you can see, you can leave the foil that's on um, the acrylic itself, it will cut through with no issues. And that's very important because then you are protecting the acrylic from any scratches if that's gonna be a part of your products to sell in your store, as that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. This machine will help me to elevate my business a little bit and create some acrylic templates. And as you can see, it does absolutely fantastic job and the edges are beautiful, nice and smooth. And that's what I'm after. Okay, I've got my template for the mirror, but now actually I can cut the mirror on this machine as well. Now this mirror will be for my daughter, so I don't actually want to have a proper glass mirror. You can buy acrylic mirror back sheets, okay? And that's what I'm gonna be using in this project. And this laser will cut this as well. In my case, that's three millimeters in thickness. So let's cut out the middle part, the mirror part. And that only took 18 seconds to do. Okay, you can't get any quicker than this. Now, obviously you don't have to use acrylic for that. You can just use a normal mirror if you've got the abilities and the tools to actually cut a mirror to a specific shape. However, I do suggest you buy uh, the acrylic. It's much safer and in the end, I think it will come out a little bit cheaper. Plus, you actually don't need a CO2 laser to make this project at all. The template itself, you can make uh, that out of uh, MDF, for example, as I did show you on the initial video that I've linked down below. And to cut this acrylic mirror, you can do it on a bandsaw or even a scroll saw without any hassle. It's only three millimeters in thickness. So 
No excuses if you don't have a CO2 laser. So I've got the template, I've got the mirror cut out. Let's head on to the woodworking part of this video. Now, usually what I would do is to trace the template on the piece of timber, go to my bandsaw and cut out the shape. However, this is fairly small and it would be difficult to clamp it down when I would be using my router to take some of the material off for the mirror itself, okay? So first of all, as I still got the whole length of the board, I'm gonna use double-sided tape to stick this down and I'm gonna use my router to route out about three and a half millimeters in depth to accommodate for the mirror itself. As I said, this plexi is three millimeters thick, but I want it to be a little bit below the surface of the wood, so I'm gonna go about three and a half millimeters, just a touch. So <laughs> let's crack on with it. And the router bit I'm gonna be using for this is this one. So you've got a guided bearing just over here. Perfect router bit for tracing templates. Now with a pencil, I'm just gonna trace this shape around uh, and I'm gonna take this to the bandsaw to cut it out. And I will take off uh, this template just to make sure accidentally I will not damage it on the bandsaw. And now it's time for a bit of router table action again. So the template is back on the piece of timber that we cut out on the bandsaw. And I'm gonna be using a uh, bit like this, tracing bit, spiral bit. I've got bearings at the top uh, to trace the design onto our piece of timber. Right then, so the routing is done. I've removed the template. That's what we've got. That's the end result of the tracing our pattern here. And now I just want to add a roundover, a tiny little roundover on the front and on the back as well. So I'm just gonna swap the router bits now. And now it's time for the boring part, i.e. sanding. I'm gonna go from grid 80 right up to probably about 240. I just want a nice, clean and soft finish to it, as my daughter hopefully will be using this. Okay, now it's time to apply the finish. Well, I'm going for a food safe finish as this will be used by my four and a half year old daughter. So I need it to be really, really safe. So it's a blend of uh, oils and waxes. Now the middle of the mirror, obviously we're gonna be applying the mirror. So I'm gonna be using uh, CA glue to do that. I don't want to have the finish on the middle. Hence, I'm gonna be using some uh, painter's tape just to block that area from any finish. So I won't have any issues with the mirror not sticking properly. I'm gonna apply one coat of this oil wax finish, leave it for a few minutes, let it soak in, then I'm gonna take the excess off. I'm gonna apply a second coat, leave it again for about five, 10 minutes and buff it out. And now we can install the mirror. So uh, maybe first of all, I'm just gonna take off the protective uh, coat from the top. Beautiful mirror there. 
and I'm just going to use CA glue for this. It should be plenty strong for this application. Uh, if you feel you need something stronger than uh, five minute epoxy, but I think CA will be just fine. And the friction fit on it is quite good. So uh, there shouldn't be any issues. And check that out. Tell you what, that looks absolutely gorgeous and awesome. I hope that my daughter will love this. And there you go guys, really nice, cool little project. I think it came out fantastically. And having a template, it just speeds everything up and it makes the project to go a lot easier and smoother and takes a lot of potential errors out of the equation. So there you have it, really nice little project. Now, if you want the uh, stencils for this, if you want to make your own templates, um, I will have them for my Patreons. They're absolutely for free. Um, if you don't want to support me through Patreon, you can always pop into my Etsy store and the template itself, the stencil itself, will be there available for you to purchase. I will be also offering the uh, acrylic version of this. So basically what I've got in my hand, that will be for sale on my Etsy as well if you want to pick up the, well, ready template from acrylic. Now, I think I'm actually gonna go with 10 millimeter acrylic. This one, the one I have is eight millimeters in thickness, but uh, yeah, that will be available as a physical product on my Etsy store. Well, I think it's a really cool little project, even for the 14th of Feb, for the Valentine's Day, having a unique piece made for your other half. Plus, if you do have a laser engraver, you know what you can do here? Engrave something really nice, a fantastic message for your second half. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop me that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. But also, don't go just yet. I've got some really cool playlists just over here for you. Plenty of videos. So if you're interested, have a look and maybe I'll see you on one of my videos there. Take care.